Hello. How are you doing, softies and peas? <laughs> oh. Um, oh, person. Oh, person joined. Hi. Oh, hey, Keith. Hello. Um, I'm playing the cat game because it's cat game. I like cat game. Yeah. Oh my god. Speaking of cats, you should totally take the totally take a look at this picture I'm sending you. Such a happy cat. I know. I do think. We really need to go up and grab something. Alrighty, I have snackies now. Oof. Oof. How are you doing, softies? I'm glad to do that. I'm doing alright. Yeah, it has been a while. Are you doing okay? Well, okay. I... I have not seen Stray in a long time. <laughs> I have no idea. I love idea. this one. Okay, so space is jump. And it's not... It is not jumping. I don't know what to do. Do I just chill here then? <laughs> what? I, oh. Makes this art is so pretty, though. I love it. Hi. 
I agree. Hmm? I said, I agree. Oh. It took you a while to respond. Yeah, I was thinking in my head, and then it kind of wasn't the response I was thinking. And yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, you're in cold. Let's go. You're very quiet, hold on. Do you want me to turn up my mic? I can turn up my mic. I had you at 150. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. You're still somewhat quiet though. I can, I can just like up oh. my volume to 100. Is that good? Ooh, yeah. Is that too loud? That's perfect. Okay, good, good. No, it sounds good at my end. <clears throat> it's very early in the morning for me. It's like three oh. in the morning. Yeah. So left alt. I have not watched a single playthrough of this game, so I'm walking in completely blind. <laughs> I know a little bit about this game because I watched like a quarter of a review of it and got bored. <laughs> but, like, um... It's a thirsty kitty. <laughs> no, you scared away the booby. I didn't, the leader kept it. Betraying the leader cat. <laughs> no, the leader cat is cute. <laughs> Why are you jumping down? Discord's noise cancelling is so good. I wish I could use Discord's no Discord's noise cancelling for like, for like my OBS. You know? Yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. Because Discord's noise cancelling is so good. I'm sure there's like apps, like free things you can download for extra noise cancelling, but that sounds. Like well, there's of RTX things. voice and things. Well, I tend to find RTX voice is too strong with my voice in particular. It doesn't sound very good because it cuts my voice out a lot, you know? Interesting. Um, because it really, like, certain certain noise cancelling softwares aren't, like, it's kind of like how um, certain AI photo, like, complexion things used to not work very well with, like, uh, people of colour because they weren't trained on people of colour, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's similar with voices. The actual, uh... The, the actual noise cancelling is trained, obviously, on particular types of people's voices. And since my voice isn't a very traditional voice, you know, yeah. it doesn't work as well with the, you know, it doesn't work as well with the noise cancelling. Yeah. No. I can see where this one's going. No. No! This is sad! This reminds me of um, a scene in Land Before Time. It's Lion King all over again! But this time no one gets betrayed. Sorry? But I, I said this time no one gets betrayed because there's no scar. Yeah, but the cat's still full! The whole thing! Okay. 
So I, I presume this is like our motivation. We need to get back to our cat friends in the outskirts of town. I would assume so. Gee. The poor little kitty baby is hurt. Oh. Well, hello there, Easy. And nothing. And nothing but. <laughs> <laughs> What does the nothing button even do? It literally does nothing. Oh, it, it's God. like the daily tax, but more expensive. Oh. Easy it's there. easy! Hi! It's oh. a nothing button. Of course it does nothing. <laughs> it's a nothing button for a reason. Well, I expected there to be some twist, okay? Hold on, let me... It does nothing. Let me fix your little dude real quick. <laughs> Anyways, what's up stream? Sorry I'm late. Had some personal things to take care of, but I am here. <laughs> you showed up like your head, like so big and half cut off. That was amazing. I know. I actually, um, e uh, Faroki, uh, I actually have, um, w well, I'm in the process of getting my own PNG tuber avatar made. Mm -hmm. So I can possibly provide those images to you if you wanted to have my image on the stream thing. With, with cool. easy in yourself, yeah. Uh, that, that would definitely be nice. I do kind of want to yeah. draw a PNG for Keith as well, but. Yeah. Missed jump. What jump did I miss? Hey? Oh, I can't. Okay. Sad. Let's see. All right, dumpster dive. This is what you were made for. Oh. Oh. I need to find sad. that premier GameStop loot in the dumpster. They're all closed. Fun fact: um, hmm? there's gonna be zero competition in the physical games market uh, it, by the end of this year because um, there, there was three places in Ireland where you could get physical video games. You could get them from Argos, you could get them from GameStop, and you could get them from Smith's Toys Superstore. Uh, GameStop is pulling out, like, right now. They have a massive sale going on at all their stores. That they're, they're leaving the country. And um, Argos is leaving later this year as well. So oh, wow. it will leave literally just Smith's Toys Superstores being the only place that sells physical games in Ireland. Other than, say, small hobbyist shops and things. But those are very rare. They're not, you know, it's, it's oh. not a very big, it's not a very populated island. So it's not like we have a ton of hobbyist shops, you know? Yeah. Um, so, like, I'm a little worried about that because I don't think, I feel like it will affect even little things like pre-order bonuses. If there's no competition in the physical games market, what, what purpose does Smith has to offer good pre-order bonuses, you know? Yeah. Not really much at all, yeah? So. Yeah. Question, the physical games market is 100% for console players, right? No, I mean, technically, yes, but you can get physical games for PC as well. Yeah, and then of course there's right. gaming consoles like uh, the DS, the um, Switch. Yeah. Then there's the gaming, the hardware itself, because yeah. you gotta remember. Although, to be fair, um physical games like when it comes when it comes to the hardware they like smith won't be the only place that sells the hardware because there's still electronic stores right there's still like did electrical and like harvey norman and things yeah which will sell the actual physical pieces of hardware yeah I i'm talking more about say the, the, the physical games themselves yeah um and the constant yeah we've lost we've, we've lost pretty much 100 percent of it here in canada now yeah we don't we, we we don't we don't have any any game stores the other thing too like the used game market used to be massive and the push to digital over the past couple generations has pretty much killed the used game market too which used to be which used to have a huge help for young gamers and stuff who just couldn't afford new triple a titles um and yeah. that's something that's really a struggle now because and now triple... you buy a game it's only yours 
Yeah, but see, here's the thing as well. Not only that, but games are like 10 or 20 year old more expensive, but income hasn't increased by enough to make that valid, yeah? Like, the average, the average kid's income is about the same as it was back when games were 60 quid, let alone when they're 70 or 80 quid, yeah? So... Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. No, it's it's it, it's a royal struggle. I mean, it's 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 a really it's a really tough market because you have like a couple players like you have these big companies that pretty much are taking over everything, and yeah. it's just a, it's it, it's a hundred percent control, right? And that's been making yeah. it really hard on the growing market. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. I'm smart. Ooh. Well, getting lost was always your forte, Faroki. No, I, I wasn't getting lost. I was trying to figure out I how to get I was trying to find a way to back to my friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually never really gotten into the habit of collecting physical game copies. Honestly, neither have I, but I only mention it because I know some people really care about it, and I'm worried about those people, yeah? Yeah. Like, I guess, in a way, I'm, I'm not really too worried for myself, because I don't really collect a lot of physical games, yeah? Um... Yeah, that's definitely a valid concern, oh. right? Yeah. 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 I, I don't like well, to see I, less competition in the market, you yeah? know? Well, and I and I am one of those people that does collect physical games, and so it has been a big struggle this past while. Plus the fact that you can't just pick up a game and play. Everything is DLCs, everything is updates. Like, every single time I go to play a game, if, if I've let it go for more than 24 hours, there's some form of update. And most of them won't play unless the update gets done. And where I live, I don't necessarily always have reliable internet, so I'm gate. So, so they're gatekeeping people from being able to play something that they've paid good money for. I have games I've paid nearly a hundred, hundred Canadian dollars for, and can't play because I don't have connection at that exact moment. And I, yeah. that that level of control is difficult. Yeah. Um... I, there's something I wanted to say, but I've already forgotten. <laughs> happens all the time. Happens, oh all, the God, time. happens all the oh time. Oh my God! Happens all the time. <laughs> uh, of course, this of course this stirs up your little reptile brain there, Furuki. Of course that does. <laughs> I can destroy oh, this was carpets a... without getting in trouble. I wish I could do that, RL, but alas, I'm not a cat and. No, 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 no. <laughs> why did you make it a hundred, Kuroki? Why did you make it a hundred? Why couldn't have you? Why, why couldn't you make it a thousand? Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I <laughs> gotta do it. All right, fine. Gotta do uh, it. All right, fuck it, fine. I just <laughs> I thought this stream would be that free, but no. Huh. <clears throat> Imagine. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and mouths, and hair and nose. Oh god, you can't even eyes, sing the song right. shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I don't know the lyrics to this song. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Oh, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Okay, there we go. I am industry. I remember, um... I remember I used to hear songs like that all the time when I was younger because like we used to have cable TV and we used to have like CBBS. I don't know if anyone remembers CBBS. Nope. No one remembers CBBS. Oh yeah, you're American. You wouldn't know what CBBS is. Okay. <laughs> so. Damn, I, I feel like getting slapped in the face right now. Wow, I I did not come here to feel that way today. Oh come on, I'm you've already sorry. been made to uh, sing heads, uh, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I'm All changing that thing to a thousand. Nope, I'll just change it back. God damn it. Can what? we meet in the middle and make it 500? Nope, it's 100. <laughs> if we meet in the middle, that's 500. It's 550. I'll just keep changing it back to 100, buddy. <laughs> I will literally check every hour uh, I need to. On April Fool's, you should make it a single uh, point. 
on April. I swear to God, you are not making it a singular <laughs> point. I will, I will fucking lose it. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit in my sweaty ass dorm room in April in the middle of the South, singing <laughs> heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. No, I'll just remove the cooldown. There's a cooldown? Uh huh. You're fucking evil. Why do I even associate with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh. we're going for what? I'm, I'm being scammed. What is this? Hmm? No, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, all this work for 1.5 million. I'm being scammed. Oh, I'm guessing you're playing Eve. Wow, gee, what would you know? I remember I, I had a partner once who wanted to get me into like... I don't think it was Eve, I think it was Star Citizen. And I was like, eh... Eve is okay. better. Eve is better. Oh my god, play Eve, I swear to god, I will... I will unironically love you if you play Eve. Like, unironically. Are you saying this to me or Froki? Fuck no, do you think I'll ever say that to Froki? Okay. Siblings, True. Yeah. But I know you're not gonna play Eve. So. You but there is still I said hope. The same thing about, uh, Overwatch. Uh, I'm saying this to softies. Uh, if you play Eve, unironically, I will love you. Like actually. I mean, is it free? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was free. a subscription base. A subscription base is like if you want to like. Pilot like dreadnoughts, but that's really not necessary. Mm. Like, if you want to like get into big gang fights and be like fleet commander, then yeah. But also, do you want to be responsible for two hundred screaming adults in their sweaty chairs and who will yell at you if they if you command them to lose their ship? Like, no, you don't want that. That's the thing that gets me about this. You put real money into a ship that can just get destroyed and just not really. Destroyed. You can't you can't put real money into a ship. You can. Okay, that's you, interesting. You, 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 you cannot. Like, everything you have, you must earn. Mm -hmm. Like, you are... Like, guess what? You are earning the in-game currency, and you're buying ships off other players. So, explain this to me, then. What is the monetization strategy of this game? The premium subscription. The premium subscription. Okay. Yeah. So, there's a loophole, however. You can buy the... So, each month of premium subscription costs... 500 of the premium currency right premium currency you can buy off the buy off of, uh, of the developers mm -hmm. and what else but you can premium currency be used for if it you can sell you can you can sell the premium currency for regular in-game money to other players and other players will buy this premium currency from you okay. so like everything you do in the game is player driven all the stuff you use is player made Every single piece of money is player paid. Okay, I think I get the system because I play a game called Flight Rising, which has its own player-based economy with like an auction house and everything. So yes, yeah, it's all player-based. It's all player-based. You can like... buy premium currency and you can buy things off of other players using that premium currency. No, you exchange to so the premium currency. Called, it's called Plex, right? Mm -hmm. You can use Plex to buy your subscription game time. Right, but other players can also use the base in-game currency, which is ISK, which is all you, you buy all your ships with ISK. Right, they will use the ISK to buy Plex from you in order to not spend real money to get their premium subscriptions. Okay, like that's how it works. I love how we're just com talking about something completely unrelated to Stray. I apologize. I like cats. Okay. I like cats a lot. Cats are great. Cats are good. Anyways, um, I'm gonna. Go with a revenge on Faroki. Why on me? Hmm. I'm not the one that. Good luck. I'm not the one that redeemed it. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lose the glasses and I gotta uh, wiggle. The wiggle, okay. yes. Um, I'm gonna geez. limit. Where's... I'm gonna limit um, our personal redeems to one to two redeems per stream, just so we don't abuse it. I'm still trying to find my damn clock app. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta go plug my phone in. Uh, Unless it's minutes. April Fools, in which case the gloves come off. I, I like the idea of things just going to shit on April okay. Fools. 
Oh god, I'm Glasses not looking forward off. to April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> this is this will, this will be fun. This is like top tier entertainment. Because like with the game I play, Flight Rising, you can actually people will actually exchange the premium currency for the non-premium currency, but they'll also use it to buy items in the game. And then also you can use it to pay off artists. I've been doing that recently. I've been earning in-game currency, the premium currency. And then because some people don't want to have to grind for the currency, they'll make yeah. you art in exchange for the currency. Yeah? Yeah. So it's like, like a whole thing. Yeah? But like in EVE, it's like there's nothing you can buy with the premium currency except for cosmetics. Yeah. Well, and, like, everything in Flight Rising is cosmetic. Like, there's no competitive system here, yeah? There's no player versus player, yeah? That's just sad. I can't tell where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, the, the... I, I have got... a cute-looking dragon with lore oh, and a yes, background I... and a description. Hello, yes, I am a... I am an Eve nerd, so yes. Two weeks... Uh, no, two months ago, I got jumped by a Sino and 50 Miramadons and lost my battleship. I'm still salty about it. God, I need another three and a half minutes without my glasses. I literally cannot see what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I can, we can tell that you can't because you're, because you're squinting so Oh hard. my god, you've been playing since 2002? Um, yes. So, I'm streaming Eve on... 2012, god damn it. I'm streaming <laughs> Eve on Saturday, by the way, if you want to check me out. A little plug right there. Oh my god. I'm kidding. Please focus on, please focus on my friend here. So like, how much is 500, uh, what did you call them? I forget what the actual currency is called. Yeah. Uh... I can't see jack shit. It hurts. What do I do? Uh, 500 isk, you can buy yourself some pity. That's all you can buy with it. It's called Five... isk. Uh, plex is premium isk. currency, so 500. Right. 500 plex sells about for two for 200 million in the Jita market, and 200 million you can buy yourself maybe a Praxis. Oh, no, um, Where are you going yeah. Abaddon's Apocalypse's battleships usually cost around 300 million to 400 million raw, and plus fittings, 500 to 600 million liberally. That's if you're using Tech One. Tech Two, you're looking at like a billion to two billion isk. More if you want to get into Tech Threes and Marauders, like. It's a lot. So what? Okay. So the the so you were saying that to get the premium membership, which is you don't need it, but it's something you might want to get. Yeah. Yeah. It's the the yeah, big yeah. major one, most wanted thing. That's five hundred plex. Yeah. No, that's not five hundred plex. Um, I don't actually know how much plex is for Omega. I'm so lost. In it does let you buy three months of Omega straight up on the website for forty-seven ninety-eight. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's like tw I'm yeah. pretty sure it's like twenty-five quid a month. I'm pretty sure, but like. Yeah. And five hundred uh, plex is twenty-four ninety-nine. Yeah, it's like, but I I, I don't like Omega. I, I I I don't. I'm not good at this game to Omega. Right. It's yeah. not worth it for me. But if I get better income i'm gonna omega like also for okay, your time is probably up nope minute left no or just over a minute Damn. are you lost yeah because i can't see anything uh -huh. <laughs> uh so can you explain to me what skill points are because i'm seeing uh, a lot of this on the product page so like oh, a million boy. skill points seven hundred fifty thousand skill points okay you know? so skill so skill points are what you use to train skills and skills are, are what you need to do to operate ships and modules mm -hmm. so as an alpha clone you got five million skill points and if you use like a reference code you get like an extra one million skill points after the free five million skill points you have to like train using your premium skill points which can I... have two uses. One is speeding up your training speed. Second is yeah. exceeding your skill point limit. Um, so, which is, and a lot of skills are Omega Lock, so this is like why. Yeah, exactly. Like, if if you're not like a, if you don't treat Eve like a second job, don't get Omega. But if you like it that much, get Omega. Anyways, back to Stray. Um, your minute is up, by the way, Furky. I'm pretty sure. I literally have a timer. It just, it just got up. 
See, my timing is impeccable. Yeah, totally. 100%. I know. I'm, I'm just a genius. Is Tekken teaching? Uh, talking about me? Is my mic too low, or like what's? No, my mic. No, no, I was just, I was just, uh, I was just messing around with you guys for talking uh. about something totally, totally different in the game, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I noticed that uh, I noticed just... that questions were being asked, and Faroki wasn't really able to respond to them through voice chat because yeah. because yeah. Uh, nobody could hear them. I I apologize for that. It's all good. Um. I turn on, on I turn on the fan in my room. I feel so good now. <laughs> I hate this. I, I hate summer so much. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it broke. It broke. Oh well. You know what job yeah. I really want? What? Do tell. Have you ever seen Linus Tech Tips? Yeah. Yes. You know when they do like a WAN show and they have like the merch messages and there's that guy that has to like vet through the messages? No. For the good questions. Okay, so basically with Linus Tech Tips, they don't really do things like super chats or like bit, bit chats or whatever. They do like merch messages. So if you buy a piece of merch from their website, you can like ask a question. And then there's a guy who manages this stream because like you have, you have the two main presenters. So that would be say you easy and Faroki, yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So you two would be the main presenters, and then I would be in the back managing the streaming software and like the the merch messages, yeah. You know? And like I would be picking mm -hmm. out the questions mm -hmm. that we we talk about and we answer to, yeah. You know? I think we can talk about that after the stream if Faroki is okay with it. Oh, I don't mind talking. Oh about yeah, it no, I'm not saying is... we're gonna do that right oh. now. I'm. Not... <laughs> uh, I I wasn't trying to make a business proposition. I'm just saying that that's the job I would like. Yeah. 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 I get that. I get um, that. Honestly, oh, I don't this care about is... it now. Yeah, that, that would actually be a cool job. This game oh, is like giving me it. severe acrophobia. Oh my god, I cannot lie. You're not being forced. But the to thing watch, is, buddy. that can't be your only job that's because true. no one's gonna hire you just to do that. Yeah. It's like you have. No, to, like... because like usually, um. Like usually, usually the guy who's doing that, <laughs> at least for their, at least for their their WAN show, has like six other jobs within their office. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but on on that same note, just quickly, uh, I don't know if you saw the video today, but uh, Linus is stepping down as CEO of Linus Media Group. I know that's crazy. I thought it was April Fools at first. I was like, nah, this isn't oh, real. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank thank you so much for following. For it really follow. means a lot to thank us. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> it really means a lot to us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for not being relevant to the game. I apologize. I, if if you were gonna be relevant to the game, you'd probably just be making fun of me for repetitively, repetitively getting lost. I mean, I think that's I the fun of the game, <laughs> getting lost. Because you're you're a cat, right? Cats yeah. don't really have a sense of direction. The thing is that you do that so much RL, it becomes less new nuanced. I'm not gonna lie though, cats in limited spaces are kind of different. I did not hear anything you just Cats said. are very good at home, like finding their way home, but I have a theory that cats are when they when they're first exploring a place, they just tend to wander around and get a bit lost. I, yeah. I, I, I said Furuki gets lost so much it's less nuance. Well yeah, it's just kind of the norm. Know me in real life. Yes. People watching the stream aren't most of them aren't gonna know me in real life. That is true. Because, like, I literally talked to you and one other person at school. Yeah. I, I need to open up my windows or I'm actually going to be baked alive in my room. Oh. 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 Doesn't this game only have robots and other cats? I really thought you were about to fall. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's entirely possible to fall in this game because I'm pretty sure all the movement is pre-baked anyway. So. Well, yeah, but there not... was a um, there was a board that you landed on and it triggered a mini cutscene of the cat slipping. Ah. And I was like, no, not again. That was so sad. The poor kitty. Are you gonna name the cat? I don't know, man. Uh, actually, you can. Uh, I've already died. Um, 
There was a little rat blob thing chase scene that I didn't quite learn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they're parasites. I'm pretty sure they're meant to be like. It's a rat blob. <laughs> rat blob. <laughs> So you can't die in this case? I mean, nine lives? Yeah, you, I, I don't think you can die in this game. I you can get have... game overs. I think it's, it's possible to get a game over, but you just respawn from whatever the last checkpoint is. I have about as much knowledge of this game as probably anybody else, because I have not I, watched any What I know players. of this game is like 15 minutes of like an hour long review. I watched like a quarter of a review and got bored. God. Yeah. Can't remember. I think it may have been Shammy's view, uh, re view, review of the of oh. the game. Oh, I just saw a button and I pressed it. That's cool, I guess. Um. It the ev I I love everything about this game. It's all very pretty. It is very pretty. But they're releasing another game similar to this soon, with a very different art style. This has a very kind of um, aesthetic art style, I suppose. But there's one with kind of a more traditional, more cutesy art style um, that they're releasing. I forget what it is. I think it may have been Kitty in the Big City or something. <gasps> oh my god, I can scratch again! <laughs> yeah! Little Kitty Big City. Okay, yeah, there's, a, that, there's another... yeah. Oh, happy kitty. Um, I can ruin expensive carpets again. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god, it even leave, it leaves the scratch marks. I love that. Oh. My cat likes to attack me in the morning because it wants milk. And like, when I'm getting the milk out of the fridge to pour myself a cup of tea, it's like, give me milk. And it will like, it doesn't go out of its way to actually attack me. It just like, it, it just like, it, it, it needs me. Like, it, it puts its legs up. Like, it stands on me and, like, needs me. And it's like, it hurts because the claws are quite sharp. You know? Um. <laughs> but it's very cute. Uh, ruining books is a very sad thing, yes. But now, now it's within reach. I don't know. <laughs> I saw a keyboard, so I stepped on it. <laughs> so does every cat. If there is a button, oh, B. If if. I'm surprised one of my cats isn't here right now. Lily got to start purring on the mic again. <laughs> I think she looks at us. Imagine. Oh. I was trying to pick up the thing that fell out, but okay. Uh. Wait. There was a queue. What was the queue? Oh. Oh. No. I have acquired ice cream, and I'm very happy. Nice. Mm, ice cream. What, what flavor? It's strawberry. It's a strawberry gelato, and it's very good. I is it wish. is it um is it a more uh, more strawberry chasing t t gelato, or is it the sweet type of strawberry? You know, the, there's the kind of more bitter strawberry, and then it's like the. It's more sweet. sweet. It's more sweet. It's more sweet. Oh. I remember when when we were on holiday in Lanzarote, um, we they they served strawberry ice ice cream, but it was so bitter. It was like the bitterest strawberry, you yeah? know. Um, I was like, we Americans have very sweet tastes. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I should oh. really be calling myself an American. I don't know, man. You've assimilated. I would a lot. love to go. Mm -hmm. I would love to go get ice cream, but that requires driving. I've been completely assimilated. There's no hope for me. 
Not completely yet. Yet. Give it a few. Give it like five more years. Mine now, bitch. <laughs> wow. What? Very aggressive today, ain't you? Very. Uh, yes. I feel like this I... game is gonna have a story. You don't about... need to spoil it for me, but. Oh no, I don't. I don't know what the story is. No, I have no idea no, what the responding story to is. a comment. Ah, I see. I see. I was just gonna say, um, I, I, with all the cameras about, I feel like this game's gonna be like about a, a, a police state, you know, mm. of some sort, because like there's cameras absolutely everywhere. Oh <laughs> <gasps> yeah! <laughs> all right, wiggle, wiggle now. I already you did. You gotta do it again. Is my chat slow? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Oh. What's this? What is What do I What do I do with this? I have something in my face. Do I bring it up here? Oh. It's a little pain. Robot friend. I like robots. Robots are cool. Yeah, you want to become a robot or something. A cyborg, actually. Close enough. No, not really. You I have still robotic want components. Yes, I, 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 I do want extra arms grafted to myself. It seems awfully useful. Some lady named Valerie is texting me claiming to know me. Hmm. That doesn't sound scary at all. I don't I even know the area code. <laughs> I have people across the pond texting me and claiming that they know me. It's really ridiculous. Yeah, I've been getting some weird calls from all over the states this past week. I usually just get, like, the usual kind of, like, oh, sketchy link phone bill, there's something wrong with your phone bill, or whatever, you know, Amazon account is due X amount of money, you yeah? know? I got a text oh my god, today. I was, I was, I was prepared for the hydrate. Oh my god. Yeah, I got, I got a text. To to I got a text today, and it was like, Miss Emily, would you willing be willing to teach my son English? And it was, like, written in Chinese. <laughs> so it's like, first of all, my name isn't Emily. Sorry to spoil your your fantasies. First of all, you miss I'm, Emily I'm, now. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm just gonna meet up with you after school tomorrow, or like during lunch or something. Oh wait, no, we have that assembly tomorrow, so I'll see you there. Yeah, and I'll do. just start referring to you as Emily. I swear to fucking God, I will leave. <laughs> Actually, you can't leave because it's a required uh, assembly, and you're probably. The key unlocks the door, I don't remember that much. Yeah, they're probably gonna take, um, like, that weird roll Evidence. call thing again. Fuck. I, I hate that, you know that? I, I hate mandatory assemblies. Me too. I hate assemblies in general. I never found assemblies particularly productive. I, I never felt like it inspired me to be a better student, Yeah. It's like, you know, you could have just condensed it into, like, a hundred-word email. Yeah, exactly. You could have just put it in, like, some form of document you gave me to read. Yeah? Yeah. What are you excusing me about? Laying on the carpet. I think the only no, thing that no, should really just have an assembly you. is, like, graduation. And that's just because <laughs> that's just, like, a celebration. Yeah? But, like, just mm -hmm. the generic, oh, oh, these are the school <laughs> announcements for the start of the summer. I never liked those assemblies because, like... I was like, well, I, I just want, I, I don't, I, 
I don't know, I just never found them particularly productive. I, I didn't think anyone was really paying attention, you know? Oh, I just... I, I, I think, yeah, none of us really were paying attention to the assemblies. Yeah. Dude, I almost I mean, had I'm, panic attack I mean, in our last one. Yeah. The thing is, right, I only go to school because I want to hang out with Froki, but that's... <laughs> That's, that's like the only reason I go. Otherwise I have no reason to show up at campus. But yeah, take that, take that as you will. Easy, easy, easy. it's mentioning you. <laughs> hey there, hello. <laughs> that's me. No, my, no, my name is Miss Emily now. I'm kidding. Yeah, but your screen name is, uh, easy. So. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should probably send a reminder on my phone. I'll do it after stream. You, somebody's just gonna have to remind me though. If you're ever no, nobody about... remind them. Nobody remind them. Nobody remind them. I know multiple people that are in chat right now. So. Good lord. <laughs> it's the magic of networking, this. bud. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Blame me for not knowing how to network. You are not a misery. Question, Torek. Would you be down to... Okay, actual question. Are you in a player alliance? I kind of want to know this. I, I find this very interesting. Uh, I feel like I need to be educated on what a player alliance is. Oh, Torek probably knows. Are you in a player alliance? It's okay if you play the fifth. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, don't hate me, but I'm part of Goon Swarm, so take that as you will. I'm so genuinely confused right now. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know what's going on. I'm 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 well, Goon Federation, so haha. Uh, <laughs> I feel like someone is not impressed. <laughs> I, I think Torek is not impressed for me being in Goonswarm. Easy, what have I told you about scaring away the, the, the viewers? <laughs> yeah, we do. Like, you just get constantly blapped at Jita because we're at war 24 <laughs> 7. I, I don't know what to do now. You can, uh, like, dance on the computers and see what happens, right? That was like a one time. Oh! Wait. Maybe? No! Get the fucking music back! Our, um, our comms are goofy. Like, that's all I will say. Our, our comms are really goofy. That's as much information as I'm allowed to share. Wait, 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 wait. Do I. Do oh. I. Easy, can I ask you a question about EVE Online? Yes. Just because I said, like, the things that people find controversial about a game says a lot about a particular type of community. So I want to know, what's, like, the biggest controversy right now with EVE Online? What's the thing uh, that's, like, people are talking C about? CCP kind of broke local the other day. Mm -hmm. Local chat is, like, how you get most of your information. Like, who's in system, who's doing what. And CCP broke local, which leads to a lot of people losing their stuff. Because yeah. they're not watching D-Scan. I don't know why you're not watching D-Scan, but they're not watching D-Scan. So, mm -hmm. like, so a lot of people lost their ships, and people were pretty pissed about it. Yeah, they, they break the market from time to time, too. Um, we're at war with Par we're, we're at war with Pandemic Horde all the time. But... Most of it's just like people just role playing because it's fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I remember I had my role playing days when I was younger. Um, I I still like it's weird. I still want to tell stories. Like I I play Dungeons and Dragons every once in a while, but like I, it's been a long time since I've done like a text based like role play with somebody. Am um, I dumb? Or... I remember I used to do it a lot when I was younger. I was Are you I. Like I, I Oh, huh? I was just gonna ask, like, am I dumb or do I remember meeting you, Softies, through? 
Oh, that's how! Through a uh, D and D stream. Yeah, I think that was the first stream, wasn't it? That I tuned into. We were I think so. you were doing D and D. You were creating your uh, your your custom D and D setting. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what what code to use. Uh. Uh. But it's been a long time since I've done like a DM, a, a, an RP in DMs or whatever. I used to be on a forum website for. A no, I was not around during the Fountain War, unfortunately. I started playing like last year, so I'm still quite new. I'm still very new to the game. D plus 48 is 51. Hmm. You know, it's funny, I'm looking at the Flight Rising website right now, and there's just been like a site status update, and it's like, Vista Agenda Ribbon has had its artwork updated to include black stripes in the ri ribbon. Which I'm like, okay, that's cool, but why didn't you include it before? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Um, I've never actually looked at that Vista before. I, I just... I know but, it's rare. Go ahead. But you know, like, um, I say that I don't hate Pandemic Legion, right? That was a lie. I do hate Pandemic Legion. You guys blew up my Abaddon. I hate you. You guys literally blew up my Abaddon. Why? <laughs> I never financially recovered from oh, that. Oh, 3748. Okay, I'm just blind. You have your glasses on. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm still blind. <laughs> Three. Seven. Four. Aha. Gotcha, gotcha. The funny, the most sad thing is, right? The friend that is responsible for my Eve addiction can't even play with me because they're in Brave. And I'm in Goonswarm, so we can't even play together anymore. It's so Softies? sad. Yes. Your chat just got um, censored. Yeah. What? What did? What did you say in chat that got you censored? Oh, uh, I posted a link. It's probably just that I posted a link. Oh. I wanted to yeah, show probably. off the agenda ribbon. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a vista. It's uh, on on the forms on Flight Rising. You can have vistas, which are like a background to your profile picture, and like. Um, they have a they have ribbons for the different uh, genders. So what I would and, suggest um, next time is posting it in pictures and then letting me know that you posted it, it or I guess in media in the server, um, and yeah. then just letting me know so I can drag it onto stream. Um, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Cool. We need to go up. Easy. What? Surprise. Oh God! What is it? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh my God, you, you motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh my dear God, and you can't and sing it right. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. You keep singing it wrong. How do you sing the song wrong every time? Well, it's because I never, I never had the chance to sing this song properly as a I... kid. Um, I'm what? totally not doing that to, to you. I swear to God, Faroki, if you're gonna, I legit kind of, I, I legit kind of want to catch up on what I missed out during childhood, but. I'm just loving the fact that I'm just collecting footprints left right and You're collecting what? You were very muffled. Keith. What? You were very muffled. muffled. Where did I go? I don't know why. I'm right next to my phone. Anyway. Eyes I said, I'm just, I'm just enjoying the fact that I'm collecting kit points left, right, and center here, you know. Yeah. Waiting for uh, wait, we're just, just just waiting for the right time. I swear to God, if you do the, if you do the, if you do the heads, shoulders, knees, and tails, I'm gonna lose it. Alrighty, I have sent you the lyrics. Alright, thank you very much. <laughs> totally didn't I just will... take me reciting it out loud. 
Yeah, well, it is what it is. Another daily tax, eh? Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. I like to double pay my taxes because it mean it acts as like a savings plan, so at the end of the year I get it refunded. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Uh, yes, this is classic American tactics. He's not yeah. American. Yeah, close I enough. I'm European. Classic, uh, classic European taxes. In Europe, we don't file our own taxes, though it's done for us. Lucky bastard. <laughs> well, the IRS should do it for you, because like they already know what you owe them, so they should oh, this just tell you what they owe. Oh, this is America. You expect anything to be streamlined. <laughs> I think you're, you're barking up the wrong tree there, pal. Yeah, probably. Most likely you are. You really are. Like, if you expect the American government to care about its people, yeah, tough luck. By the way, there are a bunch of new people in chat today if Easy or Keith want to talk about the charity that we're currently supporting. Oh, yes, um, which reminds me, charity, charity, charity. Um, since, ever since we reached affiliate, um, we decided to do charity streams every single Monday. And this isn't a charity stream right now, but it does not mean you cannot donate. Um, you see that little fancy um, purple button right in the corner of your screen? Very flashy. It's, it's smiling at you. It says donate to charity. The charity we're currently supporting this week, this month, is the Trevor Project, which helps um, queer youth around the world um, with their providing 24-7 counseling for queer youth, which is proven to reduce suicide attempts and suicide and suicidal thoughts by roughly 40%. So it would mean a lot to us if you would donate to the Trevor Project. Thank you very much. Why did he trigger the alarm? What did I do to him? What did I do to him? Ah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? I'm spooked by a robot closing a gate. Funny because sometimes when I'm tired, rather than drinking caffeine to keep myself awake, I'll get ice pops and start sucking on ice pops. Something about ice keeps me awake. I should probably not get another monster today. Yeah, in fact, come here. I've never actually drunk an energy drink before. Uh, you should. You should never start. Like, <laughs> you should never start drinking energy drinks. It is. Yeah, it, it's Mr. going Mc to ruin you. Yeah, Mr. McEasy here decided to have like five in one day and almost passed out. Just call him was... Mr. McEasy. Yes. It was. <laughs> it was three actually, three in the span of an hour. I was walking my dog outside. My legs were jittering, and I almost just keeled over on the ground. That doesn't help your case. I know it doesn't. <laughs> so don't get into energy drinks. Don't do it. It will ruin you. Why if Easy ever worked like... at McDonald's and Mick Easy was not on was not on their name tag, I would be sick. <laughs> uh, you, I would, uh, you would not catch me dead in McDonald's. I refuse to serve people food that I myself will not eat. Like, that is my, that is my, I, ha I have a, look, I, I have a moral compass, okay. Sure you do. Of course I do. What are you talking about? Of course I have a moral compass. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's pointing right down to hell. Uh, I mean, you ain't, you ain't wrong, so. Oh my God, he has a little bow tie. It's adorable. Little bow tie boy. Don't, 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 ah, 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 no you don't. No you don't. God, I can't remember the name of the game now, but his, 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 the robot's design reminds me of a character from another game. Yeah. Oh yeah, also Torek, um, we do have a Discord server if you want to join it. 
and I also have a wonderful image that I made today that I want to share with you. Oh, dear God. The way what? you said wonderful makes me scared. Damn, it's nothing bad. Mm, it's... I don't believe that. What do you mean? I know you. <laughs> yes, you do. Of course you know me. I just posted it. Oh, dear God. I... It's um, warp disruption bubbles. <laughs> oh, let me take tab. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, those are beautiful. Oh, not so beautiful. Beautiful eyes. I like the, I like the samurai guy. He's very cool. Cody! Hello. Hello, Cody Jace. How you doing? <laughs> we finally have both our mods in chat at the same time. Oh my god, that's so rare. never happens. Guardians of the Storm. It's Mom nice Mom. to meet the mod team. I don't think we have uh, entirely been fully equated before. I mean, we are expanding to literally to be mixes worldwide. So like, it's Europeans are always welcome. That's the thing, that's why I'm not here for a lot of the streams, is that usually the time you stream is like way too early in the morning for me, like I'm sleeping, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, you messaged Pharaoh about a frog and you didn't get a response? Because you oh. said for, uh, you said graph, not frog. Oh. Lol. I don't know why that's so fun. It says specifically in quotation marks, frog. I love the way you pronounce it, frog. <laughs> You're welcome, Cody. That actually sounds better than frog. Frog. Froggy frog. boil. F, F R O G U E. There you go, frog. Oh. Oh, you're right, froggy. Did you forget the disclaimer? Oh boy. Um yeah. Mm -mm, I kinda oh. wanna sing a song. <laughs> I, I really wanna sing right now because I'm uh, in, in that in that goofy mood, but Um 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 hold on. I uh 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 where's the Uh God damn it, Cody. Where's Lose the... the glasses and admit to egg, okay, so okay, first of all. <sighs> hold on, I'm trying to get disclaimer up. But I am right. already blind with them on. So, oh, there it is. Okay. Um, this claimer. Okay. Browse. Downloads. Haha. -ha! Okay. That was much louder than I intended. Okay. I'm sorry, people. Alrighty. Where's my timer? I closed it because I'm smart. Why do you gotta do this, Cody? You are mean and cruel. Cody has too many kill points. We need to nerf him. We can't. Yeah, we cannot nerf him. So sad. Oh yeah, um, Cody, have I told you the story about how I got called Miss Emily today? I think that classifies as the egg thing. Um, no. So, you have to actually no. properly admit to it. 
I already did that like so many times already though. It's, it it gets to a point. Fuck it. I'm an egg. Yay. Let's go. I mean, we, be genuine, I need to think man. of. I know I am always genuine. What are you talking about? I'm uh -huh. never sarcastic. Uh huh. Uh, there is not a singular. <laughs> There's not a singular speck of sarcasm in my voice, ever. Mm, totally. Yeah. I have yes, not. Totally oh my god, he's sleeping! He's asleep, baby. You, to you, yeah, you, you totally do not hear me being sassy any sort of way, any day. Totally. Totally. He's a sleepy little baby. <laughs> I like cats. <laughs> yeah. Man, now I want to get a cat, but like, I'm moving away, so I can't take care of it. Why is it just continuously going zooming out? Oh. I know. I know I've let you down I've been a fool to myself I thought that I could live for no one else But now, through all the hurt and pain It's time for me to respect The ones who love me more than anything It's such a good song, love it so much I'm in pain. What did you do? I let my foot fall asleep. Again. Oh. It's kind of expect. It's kind of expected out of you. That happens yes. to me while I'm sleeping, though. I sometimes I wake up and my leg is so overstretched for some reason while I was sleeping that I just like it's like it, it's not just that it feels numb. It's that it actually gets like jolts of pain, like it's trying to disconnect itself or something. It's like yeah. I, 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 I felt that before. Alright. Thank you, Cody. It's glad to we're glad to have you here. I, glad to have you here, Cody. I, I have no idea what Cody's saying, but... Cody says, I, anyways, I'm going back to sleep. As my body is in pain, I'll be watching in chat, but loosely. Alrighty, Cody. Sleep well. It was nice seeing you again. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon, Cody. I hope you enjoyed the stream. The reason why Faroki's, like, leg is always in pain... You, you, their, their posture RL is really goofy. I just have a, a chair with no back support. Like, the actual, like, back Why? support only goes halfway up my back. It doesn't actually go all the way up. It's like the one of the school chairs you can crack your back with. <laughs> yeah. I want one of those. Because I'm poor. Man, I should have told you. I used to game out of a MacBook. I'm currently gaming out of a PC with no side panel. Damn. I gamed out of a MacBook for like the better part of like seven years. <laughs> oh, 25 seconds left. And then you can see again. Yeah. I mean, I can't say much. The CPU fan was so... The bearings were so bad for, for over a year. I had to leave the side panel off my PC because I had to jumpstart my fan every time I booted my computer. So, yeah. Yeah, um, Keith, I have a lot of things I need to work out on my PC as well, so hopefully you can help me with that. Yeah, done, bro. Sweet. Yeah, it's nice to not have to spin my fan manually now. The stupid part is I have the part. I just oh. have the Time is money, you know? Especially like a, especially for a working man like you. Well, it wouldn't even be so hard if just work, but I'm trying to build a house, which takes a lot of time. Yeah, I would imagine. <gasps> There's a piano. Now you're speaking my language. I love piano so much. You would not you would not believe. My piano needs to be tuned so bad. Please tune it. 
Like, I like pianos more than I like computers. Let's just say that. I just have... It gets tuned regularly, but I've got one C that, the, that is really badly stretched, so it goes out of tune so quickly. Gotcha. You probably need, like, new strings. Yeah, I do. Well, I mean, the piano is 104 years old, so... Jesus! It's all, it's all original, so... Yeah, and it wasn't, probably it wasn't need to, like, great. revamp it. Yeah, and it wasn't that really... It wasn't great... Wasn't that well taken care of before you got it? But, yeah, you need to like rip everything out and redo all of it. Like, there, there gets to a point where everything honestly, needs to be replaced. It sounds honestly quite good, all things considered. It's just there's a couple, there's a couple things that go into tune. But the good thing is they're not commonly used, at least for what I play. I'm not really, I'm not that. <laughs> what What do you play, Keith? Yeah, Keith can Um. A little bit of classical, some rock covers, um, I see. not much. I, I, took a lot, I took a lot of years of piano lessons, but I just don't have the hand-eye coordination. I'm better better on my clarinet than I on piano, for sure. There's no way I'm meeting another clarinet player today. There's no way. <laughs> I feel so happy. I'm kind of surprised you didn't know this, Mackenzie. I did not know Keith played clarinet. Yeah, I'm kind of yep. surprised that you didn't. Yep, I played in. That's what I played in school band. Because we weren't, we didn't have a piano in school band. So. And oh my god. Like oh my god, I see my younger self in Keith's past. This is uncanny. <laughs> you say that as if you're some old man. I am an old man. Oh jeez, poor Keith. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just ancient. I already knew that though. Yeah. Well, you're not the oldest person I talked to today. Fair. The oldest person I talked to today was 65 years old. Damn. And he's, he's my, like and he's, four years older. That's and he's my guildmate. And he's my guildmate. Yeah, and you know? he needs to be four years older. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> True. <laughs> Hell yeah. Furoki has gone full cat mode. Oh. Furoki has gone, you know, full whatever Furoki mode there is. Which usually ends in hilarity. Oh, Sometimes ends this? in pain a bit. Who's this? Hello, person. Why do, you, why do you have glasses? Oh, God. I don't... Oh, I don't... Hmm. Anger. He only needs glasses because he needs the glasses to upscale the image to 1080p because his eyes can only see in 480 and everything's too blurry. 480. <laughs> 480p is like perfectly watchable graphics though. Like. Yes, to us, but it's a joke. It's a joke. Man, I used to play games on like the equivalent of 480p. It's funny. Um, oh yeah, easily. I I remember I remember I had like a I had like a four by three display for my com first computer monitor. You know when computer monitors was four by three. No, was I do where, not this remember was... it those days. Okay, so this was in between the days of the CRT computer monitor and the. Um, we're talking about school computers here. So this is in between the days of the CRT school monitor and the LCD. But LCDs that were widescreen were still rather expensive. So there were these cheap budget monitors that were basically 4x3 LCD screens. That were kind of like a CRT, but they weren't built like a CRT. They were built like an LCD screen. Yeah? I have they just no had idea the what those are. Um, Easy, you're making me feel really old by saying that. The thing is, right, it's not just because of that. It's because where I grew up. It's the location, I think. Yeah. Because we it didn't have school It probably is the location, because I, I experienced most of those through school, you know? Um, yeah? Like, like, like in, back in, like, back where I came from, you kind of just sat in classrooms all day and did math problems. I remember, oh god, I remember when it was the hip, cool innovation to have, like, your computer built into the monitor. The monitor be the computer, you know? That How old so are you? I, I, remember, I remember when the iMac G3 came out. Jesus Christ. 
Am I talking to like actual fossils? What is this? <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I'm going back to 1999, so. I'm going back yeah. to the very early 2000s. I was basically on a computer since I was like born. Yeah, I'm talking to fossils. There's no way. Yeah, we didn't. We had a uh, we had a CRT monitor up until oh, 2006, 2007, and then that's when we got our first widescreen LCD. But like regular, like four by three LCDs were common. For a my long uh, time. my father it, had a working CRT right up until he died in in like 20, 2016. In 2016, he passed away, unfortunately. But um, a he had a, a working, of... he had a working CRT up until that point for playing PS2 games. He had a working you PS2 know. and a CRT. I actually, I actually have a CRT myself, just because I have an original Nintendo, and the yeah. light guns on the original Nintendo won't work with an LCD or an LED yeah. TV. Um, so you actually have to use a CRT. So I have yeah. one in my back room just for playing like old school Nintendo games with a light gun. Yeah. Uh, my father had one because it was the easiest way to play um, PS2 games because a lot of modern TVs don't have the ports anymore. The ports you need to actually plug in a, a PlayStation 2. Yeah. Um, they also yeah. They, they, they they also look better um, because the the way that the, the way the pixels are set up on a CRT is different from an LCD, and so... Well, game people... developers would spend time perfecting that look, because what the, well, what the exactly. CRT would do is it would smooth out the pixels, wouldn't it? Yep. That, well, 100%. it yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the edge of the pixels were, were smoothed out instead of the harsh pixels you have on an LCD, which is yeah. fine, because an LCD is usually higher resolution, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, like I know, like I know when I plug in my PS2 or my GameCube or anything to like a modern TV, it does not look as good because everything yeah. is very copy and very blocky, right? Plus, of course, it's all four by three, so you either have it stretched or you have blackboards. The I should probably is... ask my father about his gamer days back in back in like t early two thousands. The problem is, is the the days of the CRT are behind us, and I'm worried that. As technology progresses, it's going to become harder and harder to find a CRT that actually works. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Like, I can remember having tons. Like, my my grandpa was a TV repairman, and so yeah. growing up, we had tons of TVs, right? Because that was sort of the thing. He he'd take TVs that were no longer fixable because they were too expensive. Thank you too so expensive. much for the follow, Denny Z. Uh, Thank you so you? much for the follow. Denny Z. Zenny. Thank you. Denny, Denny, Denny Z Zenny. There you go. Thank you so much. It means a lot to us. Yeah. I had like, a Disney like... Princess CRT at one point. Um, also, Denny Z, I know that we say it means a lot to us a lot, but because it actually does, right? Yeah. So. I'm going to guess Pete is talking to his cats right now. I, I literally am holding the princess in front of my screen watching the stream. <laughs> this is this is a good father daughter bonding time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my cat my cat's literally watching your stream about cats. That is adorable. Which makes sense because my cats love TV in the first place, so I remember my mum used to do this thing. If we ever left the pets alone, we'd have like pet TV channels that we'd put on, like mm -hmm. on on YouTube and things. So we'd pull up like um, two hours of like bird sounds for cats, yeah. Um, we'd just have that on the telly. Yeah, my cats, my my cats stay in my spare bedroom when I'm gone for the day for work. Um. Mm. And so I and so I have a TV in there, and yeah, I turn it on to things like that while I'm gone. It seems to reduce their anxiety because both of my cats have uh, have a little bit of abandonment issues, so it's nice for them to feel like they're not totally alone. Yeah. It's funny um, because I remember. It's funny because when you've been up as long as I have, you hear the birds going to bed at night. You hear the last few little ch ch uh, chirps as they go to bed. 
And then, like, if you stay up all night and stay up until the morning, you notice the birds get wake up again in the morning, yeah? You get that kind of wake up call, it's like, oh, the birds are awake again. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I should probably pull an all night. I, I really want to pull another all nighter, but I, I failed to. Oh, I used to pull them all the time. I, I've been pulling them the last few couple days, to be honest. But I really should. Um, I don't know what it what it is about the last few days. I've just been kind of a little bit restless, and I actually haven't been able to figure out what it is. I just, you know. Honestly, that goes for, that goes that goes for the both of us. Yeah. Ah, uh, yep, yep, same, same here. <laughs> I should probably ask my dad about how he played Diablo back in the day. I think it was like 2003, 2004, he was addicted to Diablo, like Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. Does anyone remember Packard Bell? No. Yep. <laughs> uh, imagine a cheap computer for me. Okay. Imagine the typical cheap computer, yeah? Mm hmm Now imagine that computer a bit older, but back a few generations, yeah? Okay. Okay. Now, uh, think about that, but five times worse, and you have a pack up. <laughs> I see. They were made yeah. with basically the cheapest parts humanly possible, yeah? Uh, you'd buy them for, like, really cheap. They're, they're only... I forget how, I, I actually don't even remember how much they were, but they they were they were the cheapest computers you could buy basically, yeah. Um, and it could usually come with a monitor or something bundled in, and um, basically uh, they were very very slow. Like I remember, like Toontown isn't a very demanding game, and it wasn't even a demanding game for the time. But like I could barely run Toontown on that thing, yeah, when I was a kid. Um, yeah, they definitely think. didn't have a great reputation, that's for sure. Oh yeah, and I remember my first gaming computer. Uh, I have so many regrets about my first gaming computer because I went to a store, yeah? I, 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 I wanted to get one for so long, and I wanted to get one that day. I was like, I'm getting one this day. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for a deal. I'm getting one this day. So I go to the store, right? And they don't have the model that I want in stock. So they offer me a different model without a graphics card, but they offer to install a graphics card in the system for me if I buy the graphics card separately, yeah? Uh, and it works out to just a tiny bit more. It was like 50, 80 euro or something dark. And it was, like, to be fair, it was also a better graphics card. It was a 750 Ti over, I think, like a 750, yeah? So it was like a proper Ti variant. And um, basically, they offered to install it for me and everything, but I couldn't convince my mother to pay the little bit extra for the graphics card. Yeah, she wouldn't pay the little bit extra for the graphics card, and I didn't want to like wait or try and like argue it out with her later. So I just got the computer without the graphics card, and that was my gaming computer for so long. But it was running an AMD Athlon CPU. It was terrible. Yeah, like this would have been in like 2010. Yeah, I would have been about nine, ten years old. Um, like it's. Uh, I have so many regrets for my first gaming computer. I I really should have gotten that graphics card. I should have pushed for it. Yeah, I should have pushed for that graphics card to be in that computer. Yeah. Um. Whatever. Yeah, it sounds like it would have been a better. Sounds like it would have been better that way for sure. Yeah. I may have the dates a little off, by the way. I don't actually remember what age I was when that happened. I just remember being disappointed with the computer at the end, yeah? I was always intrigued by the idea of a robot drinking alcohol. It's like, is it like motor oil you're drinking or anything like that? 
I, I, I don't know. Keeps me up at night sometimes. Kerosene. Kerosene, nice. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday I dreamed of being chased by a bucket man. Um, I'm going to end the stream at 9 10 because I'm starting to get very drained. Fair enough. That's perfect for me. Um, thank you for doing such a great stream. It's been of fun. Course. I'm glad it's been fun. Um, I am going to be playing this game again on Monday for the charity stream. It will be the last charity stream dedicated specifically to the Trevor Project, however the entire week will still be open to do uh, donations. Um, and then the Monday after that we are going to be looking into another charity to continue. And uh, just, to, just to remind everyone, if you can't donate now, don't forget you can always donate to the charity directly yourself in the future if you ever decide to. Yeah. Um, I don't oh. know why I suddenly want to eat a slice of cheddar cheese. I want toast with marmite. Toast with marmite. So I have never eaten marmite in my entire life. Okay, okay. Marmite, it's, it's weird because people say you either love or hate marmite, but I'm actually somewhat in the middle. It depends on what mood I'm in. I get into swings where like I just don't really want to eat marmite, and then I get into swings where I like crave marmite, you know? I'm like, I, I'm what you would call a Marmite, like, a seasonal Marmite craver. So, like, occasionally I really want Marmite, and other times I just, like, I don't want it all, you yeah? know? Um, but it's that's very like nice. With, it's like with licorice, and I think, with most people, it's like, you either love it or you hate it. Marmite is not to be mistaken with Vegemite, they're not the same thing. Yeah. I swear, I need to, I might need to, like, buy licorice for Fergie sometime. I think that would be fun. I like licorice. I don't like licorice. I love licorice. I, I hate licorice. And I was I was like, you know what? This looks interesting. I bought licorice. I ate it. It was dis- I was- I, I hated it. I spat it out and I gave the rest of the back to They seemed quite pleased about it though. Yeah, I like yeah. licorice. And that entire bag was gone within like two hours. I'll, s I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh, if I have some extra bits, I might buy some licorice. <laughs> just because, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to end stream now, though, because I am crashing very quickly, and it is not going well for my poor little brain. Hey, we had a good hour and a half together, though. Yeah. That, it's been fun. I hope I haven't been too off-topic, but it no. has definitely been very fun. Yeah, as long as things are going smoothly, I don't have much of an issue with it. <sighs> it was oh, very God. nice. It was very nice hanging out with you folks, I know. Um, thank you very much to Faroki, who did a very good job. Um, he was very good at, you know, I I don't know, I'm bad with words, but I had fun. I think, I hope the rest of you guys did too. I yeah, we, we I think we all had fun, and uh, I want to thank Froki. She's she's really pulled through. <laughs> pulled through on what? I'm just vibing. Being the best streamer. But I'm just vibing here. And also, do you reminder <laughs> that tomorrow, you're gonna have to deal with me. So. Oh no. You're gonna have to deal with me. Oh yeah, I... you're doing Eve Online tomorrow, aren't you? No, that's Saturday. Ah, um, Saturday, 1 p.m. Pacific time is EVE Online. That's what I'm going to be doing with. Um, hopefully not losing my 100 million-esque ship that I just cobbled together today. So what are you doing today, then? Uh, I didn't do... I, I'm not streaming today, so... Uh, oh, no, I mean next stream. You, you said next time. Uh, I'm, I think I'm just um... getting confused. Don't mind me. So for the stream schedule, we have it posted both to our Twitter and pinned, and we also update the Twitch stream, stre stream schedule right. every time we uh, create our schedule. So all of the games and the streams and their times have already been uploaded to our Twitch stream schedule for next week, but the schedule on Twitter will not be posted until 10 a.m. at Sunday. Just mm -hmm. letting y'all know. Yeah. Just in case you guys are interested. Yeah.
But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end the stream now. This was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying Stray. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'll see y'all next time. Alright. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.